Welcome back to the Conference USA Showcase. UCF sprinter Octavius Freeman runs the fastest 100 meter for any female in the world to this date. That is an incredible performance, but this is a young lady who's actually just picking up where she left off her freshman year. She's a sophomore out of Lake Wales, Florida. She runs this time. She's a two-time bronze medalist in the NCAA Indoor Track and Field Championships. Not only is she a great 100 meter sprinter, she also has the third fastest time in the 200 this year. UCF sprinter Octavius Freeman ran the fastest 100 meter time in the world this year at 11.02 seconds. Freeman's wind legal time of 11.02 seconds to win the 100 meter gives her the top time in the world this year by 0.13 seconds. The personal best also places her ninth on the all time collegiate performance list and was a Florida Relays and Percy Beard facility record. Her 200 meter winning time of 22.85 seconds currently ranks third in the world and is tied with Kamaria Brown of Texas A&M for the top collegiate time this year. In its 12th year, USATF's Athlete of the Week program is designed to recognize outstanding performers at all levels of the sport. Freeman is the first collegiate sprinter and just the third college athlete to be recognized with the honor. Freeman has also received Athlete of the Week honors from the Conference USA and USTF CCCA. One quick reminder, the Conference USA Track and Field Championships will be May 9th through 11th. It'll be down in Houston, Texas. It'll be also be televised by FSN. Well, now switching things up to the tennis courts, starting with the women. Rice, they end their season with a win over Utah. The 20th ranked Owls finished the season on a 12 match win streak, including a senior day win over Utah. Senior Katie Gator defeated Natasha Smith in singles then paired with Liat Zimmerman for the doubles win. Sophomore Natalie Bizant, ranked now 41st in singles, defeated Teresa Berkeroff before pairing with Dominique Harmath for a doubles win. The duo of Bizant and Harmath are now ranked 24th heading into championship play. A lot of it with me is confidence, and I know that after that Tulane win, after being the set down and coming back to win that match, I feel like I definitely got the confidence back that I had, you know, maybe last season. Because, you know, you don't, there's no time to doubt yourself when you're on the court. There's no time to have those hesitated points. So I feel like I've definitely now got more on track where I feel like I'm once again believing in myself and trusting my ability on the court, being able to then go and do what I want to do in the point, which makes it a lot easier. On the men's side, Tulsa wraps up their season with a 7-0 win over Tulane. The Golden Hurricane now ranked 21st in the nation, ending the season with a win over Tulane and a five-match win streak. Tulsa swept Tulane 7-0, getting points from freshman Carlos Batista, who extended his win streak to eight matches. Jappy DeClerc, now ranked 52, earned the win in number one singles, and the pair of Clifford Marsdale and Alejandro Espejo won the doubles point. Tulsa has won the past two Conference USA Championship and six of the last seven CUSA titles. This also marks the seventh time TU has been the top seed in the tournament. 